The browser panel in QGIS can actually be really useful for organizing and managing your data. If you don't see it, you can reactivate it by going to the view menu and then panels and making sure the browser box is ticked. What you will see there is you will see a variety of options for adding layers via the web, but you can also use it to browse and add and inspect files on your computer. I can see that I have a connection to my C drive here, my D drive, and an external hard drive. So for example, if I expand D and look in this folder called Basildon, I've got some layers from the area of England and I can see them here, they're geo packages. And if I expand that and select a layer, I can right click on it and choose manage, export, or I could just go to layer properties. The layer properties will open up some metadata. I can preview it. I can zoom in and out here and I can look at the attributes in the table. This is just a boundary of the area of Basildon. I can also see the fields that I've got in my file. If we look at something slightly different here, this geo package of buildings, I can right click and go to layer properties. Once again, I can preview it and I get a nice little preview of the layer itself. So I don't need to open it. Maybe sometimes you wonder well, what's in this layer. You could just look at it like that and then I can see the attributes and then the metadata as well. If you scroll down, it will tell you how many features you have. In this case, I've got 34,221, the coordinate reference system and so on. And the same applies to all, all file types. Let's just quickly look at a shape file. So I'm in another folder now, and let me just expand this to make it a bit wider. I've got some built up area boundaries. That's what the folder is called. And within that, I've got a shape file and I can expand it and I can see the fields. Here's all the different columns in the data set. If I right click on the SHP file, I can go to layer properties. And again, I can see the metadata, which is just information about the data tells me that it's a shape file. I can preview it. So I've not opened this shape file. I'm just previewing it in the browser and I can see its attributes. So that's really useful to be able to inspect files. If I did want to add that, I could just drag and drop it into the map from the browser and I can zoom to the layer. And you can do that with any file type. Sometimes people like to use the browser for file management, inspecting files, and then just dragging and dropping them in. But it can be super useful. If you have a particular folder that you use a lot, like this one here, I could right click and add it as a favorite. And then if I go back up to the top, in my favorites, I have that folder. So maybe just take a little bit of a closer look next time you're using the browser panel and see if it can save you a click or two.